वट आर आइसोटोब्स टू डिफरेंट एंड यूनिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ आइसोटोब्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री वेल वी नो ऑल अबाउट एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर एन एटम इज मेर अप ऑफ थ्री टाइनी पार्टिकल्स लाइक प्रोटोन न्यूट्रॉन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन Protons and neutrons live in the nucleus while electrons revolve around the nucleus in these fixed paths or shells just like planets revolve around the sun remember that electron is a negatively charged particle and proton is a positively charged particle an atom as a whole is electrically neutral because the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons inside any atom let me repeat it the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons inside any atom now what are isotopes let consider these cell phones let they both are launched by the same company they have the same functions same shapes and same properties but there is only one difference between them i mean difference in color one is white and the other is blue now consider carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 as these cell phones are from the same company similarly these atoms are from the same element also there is only difference in color between these cell phones so here there is only difference in number of neutrons among these atoms carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 are three different forms of the carbon element in carbon 12 there are six protons six electrons and six neutrons in carbon 13 there are six protons six electrons and seven neutrons while in carbon 14 there are 6 protons 6 electrons and 8 neutrons from this example you can learn that all these carbon atoms have same number of protons and electrons but they have different number of neutrons so we therefore define isotopes as atoms of the same element having same number of protons and electrons but different number of neutrons let me repeat it atoms of the same element having same number of protons and electrons but different number of neutrons note it down this important point that isotopes have same chemical properties because they have same number of electrons in outermost shell secondly isotopes have different physical properties because they have different number of neutrons in the nucleus now why we call these carbon atoms as carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 well it is because of their respective masses For example in carbon 12 there are 6 protons and 6 neutrons so its atomic mass is 12 units and its atomic number is 6 units because of 6 protons so we therefore call it carbon 12 also in carbon 13 there are 6 protons and 7 neutrons so its atomic mass is 13 units and its atomic number is again 6 units because of 6 protons so we call it carbon 13 similarly in carbon 14 there are 6 protons and 8 neutrons and its atomic mass is 14 units and its atomic number is again 6 because of 6 protons hence we call it carbon 14 now look at the atomic numbers of these atoms they all have same atomic numbers i mean 6 units because they all have 6 protons but they have different atomic masses because of having different number of neutrons so we can also define isotopes as atoms of the same element having same atomic number but different atomic masses let me repeat it 
एटम्स ऑफ द सेम एलिमेंट हैविंग सेम एटॉमिक नंबर बट डिफरेंट एटॉमिक मासेज फाइनली लेट मी टीच यू आइसोटोप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आइसोटोप्स ऑफ क्लोरिन एंड आइसोटोप्स ऑफ यूरिनियम देर आर थ्री आइसोटोप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एलिमेंट प्रोटियम ड्यूट्रियम एंड ट्रीटियम आर हाइड्रोजन वन हाइड्रोजन टू आर हाइड्रोजन थ्री देर आर टू आइसोटोप्स ऑफ क्लोरिन एलिमेंट क्लोरिन थर्टी फाइव एंड क्लोरिन थर्टी सेवन देर आर आल्सो थ्री आइसोटोप्स ऑफ यूरिनियम यूरिनियम टू थर्टी फोर यूरिनियम टू थर्टी फाइव एंड यूरिनियम टू थर्टी एट to summarize my lecture we learned that isotopes are the atoms of same element having same number of protons and electrons but different number of neutrons like carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 secondly we learned that we can also define isotopes as atoms of the same element having same atomic numbers but different atomic masses like these atoms have this was all about isotopes